Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Users often ask us if they can change some menu buttons themselves to suit their tasks. This is something our desktop tools already allow you to do. So today, we'll show you where to find the customized settings and how to change the list of buttons and editors to match your needs. Let's see how it works. For demonstration purposes, we'll start with SQL Editor. This editor has two side-by-side -side toolbars to give users a wide range of scripting options. As everyone has their own tasks, not all the query and script controls might be needed. For example, you can run only simple ones and never even look at the server output and excitation logs. Let's start with how you can customize your toolbar from the main menu. Simply select Preferences from the window list and then open Toolbar Customization in the user interface. There are options for selecting buttons on the planes of different editors. Result Set, Bottom Toolbar. SQL Editor, Top and Bottom Ones. By checking or unchecking the box next to the name of each of these items, you can add or remove all the buttons from a particular one. You can hide buttons you don't need without going directly into SQL Editor or any result set, including the Data Editor. This can come in handy if you know exactly what buttons you often use and you don't need to check their assignments inside the features. But you can also enter the settings via the buttons in the editors. This way, you'll be able to customize your toolbar and immediately see the results. In SQL Editor, you can find the gear icon in the side menu. The resource will open by default, but you can select Toolbar Customization in the same list. Suppose you realize that the buttons that open the server output or execution logs are unnecessary. Now you can remove Show Server Output, Show Execution Log, and Show SQL Variables with one click. For the changes to take effect, click Apply and Close before exiting the settings. The same should be done when you remove any control from the editors. Toolbar Customization also allows you to modify toolbars in the Data Editor and other result sets. You can find the gear icon here too. In the bottom side of the Data Editor, you can remove buttons like Previous Row, Next Row, and First Row. Then click Apply and Close if you use the keyboard and mouse to navigate the table. Of course, if you need to restore any buttons in the future, you can do that anytime. You should return to the Toolbar Settings menu and select Restore Defaults. Now you know how to customize any editor's buttons in our desktop tool, so you can make the SQL Editor, the Data Editor, and other result sets convenient for you. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future DBeaver videos, and share this content with your friends too.